In today's video, I'm going to be showing you 10 save ideas that you can take on after the winter update in Football Manager 2024. Chelsea have had a turbulent few years. Firstly, the club changed owners, with Roman Abramovich being forced to sell the club. He'd be purchased by ambitious and sometimes outspoken American Todd Bowley. Straight away, he would get to work on trying to change Chelsea to how he wanted them. One of his first acts was to sack Thomas Tuchel, despite the German winning the Champions League with the club the season before. He would replace him with Graham Potter, although he didn't last long at the club either. Then there was the spending. Out of nowhere, Chelsea found a loophole that has now been closed, but it allowed them to sign young players for vast sums of money on long, protracted contracts. In real life, they are now managed by Mauricio Pochettino, who has set about sorting the team out. It is still a young, raw, talented squad though that shows inconsistencies. Your job here will be to turn that inconsistent squad into a team of winners. Can you steady the ship, use and nurture the talent whilst adding the missing pieces to take Chelsea back to the top? Union Berlin have been a bit of a fairy tale story in the Bundesliga. They became the first team from East Berlin to play in the Bundesliga when they were promoted in 2019. In 2021, they would qualify for the Europa Conference League as they would finish 7th in just their second Bundesliga campaign. By the 22-23 season, Union Berlin were challenging for the Bundesliga and nearly caused a major upset. Sadly, they couldn't complete the fairy tale of winning the league, but they did finish 4th to qualify for the Champions League. In the 23-24 season, things would take a downturn. They have suffered a loss of form and this means they have slumped to 15th in the Bundesliga and are miles behind the accomplishments of last season. Can you go in and turn the season around and maybe be the one to finish the fairy tale for Union by winning the Bundesliga? The story of Reading Football Club is a little bit crazy. As recently as 11 years ago, they were a Premier League team. They were flying high and causing upsets despite their small stature. Things though would change fast as former chairman John Medeski sold his shares in the club and they haven't been the same since. Fast forward to 2024 and they are now in League One, struggling with financial issues. The current owners of the club really don't seem to care for the proud history of a club that at one point was on the up. The fans have had enough and have taken to protests which include pitch invasions to get their point across. This is going to be one of the toughest tasks on this list. With no money and a playing squad that is struggling, this club is going to need to be rebuilt completely. This is a challenge that could take several seasons to get right, but if you manage to do it, it will certainly be one of the most rewarding. Lyon, in the not too distant past, were the biggest team in France. They even had the impressive feat of winning the top flight seven times in a row between 2002 and 2008. The main reason that those days are behind them though is down to the investment in their rivals PSG who have since gone on to become a powerhouse in French football. In the 23-24 season though the club have now really begun to show signs of falling apart. They seem to have a lack of clear direction behind the scenes and after years of poor investment they are languishing in or around the relegation zone of Liga 1. This massive club will need saving. Can you go in and turn their fortunes around? You'll have an average squad with some bright sparks for the future, but your initial problem will be to steady the ship. They won't have a lot of money, but do have a good youth system, which you may have to rely on. Sampdoria could be one of the most interesting clubs on this list. They are a club that seemed to reach their peak in the late 80s and early 90s. During that period, they would win the Scudetto, the Super Coppa, and the Cup Winners' Cup. They would sign players such as Juan Sebastian Veron, Ariel Ortega, Clarence Seydorf and Christian Carambu. Sadly, that investment though didn't lead to a second Scudetto and that one from 1991 remains their only top flight success. Jump forward to 22-23 and the team would not only not reach the heights of their successes but they would lose their status as a top flight club altogether after being relegated to Serie B. This would be paired with financial issues and a club takeover but it hasn't changed the fortunes of the club. In the 23-24 season, they find themselves at the wrong end of the table once again. This could be a difficult task with financial issues, outdated facilities, an ageing squad and life in the second tier. Can you make it your mission to bring them back to the big time? Almeria are a team in the Spanish top flight La Liga. They are an intriguing team though, as they are owned by His Highness 
Turkey Al Sheikh. They are a team that had big ambitions from their new owners and it seemed to be paying off when they got promoted to La Liga not long after being purchased. Once they got to the top flight though, they realised how tough the task was that was ahead of them. In their first season they would finish in 17th place and only narrowly avoid relegation. Things would not improve though and in the 23-24 season, as of January the 24th, they are the only team in the league not to have registered a win. Can you save the club and invest wisely to turn their fortunes around? In real life they are destined for relegation. If you can stop that in the first season, there should be investment to come in the future. Napoli are the reigning and defending Serie A champions after winning the Scudetto title in the 22-23 season. You would think that that would give them a good chance of defending the title and having a good shot at being repeat champions, right? Well, you would be wrong. The 23-24 season has been calamitous for Napoli. They have had a mad dip in form and do not look like the same team who lifted the trophy last season. Early on in the season they would have a managerial change, but even that couldn't lift them from the slump. In January, they were sitting ninth in the table, meaning they would be extremely lucky if they even qualify for European competitions at all. To top it all off, star striker Victor Osiman claims to have a plan to leave the club in the near future. If you take on Napoli, you will have all the tools at your disposal to turn their real life season around. Come the winter update, there could be a few players who are candidates for a downgrade though. Can you drag them out of their downturn of fortunes and back to the top? of Serie A. Birmingham City have had a crazy 23-24 season. After years of owners who put a stranglehold on the club, they were finally bought by the SCL, who are an affiliate company to Knighthead Capital Management, and have key figures such as the greatest NFL player ever, Tom Brady, involved with them. Just as things looked to be stabilised at St Andrews though, the new owners would make the first crazy decision of their tenure. With Birmingham starting the season well and in or around the playoff positions, they decided to sack manager John Eustace and replace him with Wayne Rooney. This would be a disastrous move which would see them in free fall in the championship, but luckily they saw the error of their ways quickly. This could be an interesting project. A team who has been absent from the top flight for a number of years finally has the financial backing of an owner who seemingly now cares. Can you get them back to the top and can you challenge Aston Villa to be the biggest team in the second city. Ajax are undoubtedly the biggest club in the Netherlands. In any normal season, you would expect to see them in or around the title race. The only problem is the 23-24 season hasn't been a normal season. The club has had many changes on and off the pitch, which seems to have destabilised Ajax's normal harmonious aura. At one point in the season, the club was second from bottom in the league. They lost heavily to their biggest rivals, which caused their fans to riot, and they have already had numerous changes behind the scenes. The club has a massive reputation, a young squad and excellent facilities. Money may be an issue if you're looking to overhaul the squad, but you'll have plenty of talent to develop in the youth system. You'll be expected to bring instant success to the club, and as a bonus, after the winter update, you can add the services of Jordan Henderson to your team. Forest Green are a club that are in League 2 in the English football pyramid. They are a team that do things differently in the footballing world. They are known for being an eco club who try to capitalise on eco-friendly inventions. The club are proud to be the UK's first vegan club also. Forest Green are a team that worked hard to be in the Football League. They reached the heights of League 1, but sadly for them though, they would be relegated at the end of the 22-23 season back to League 2. The 23-24 season has been an odd one. Firstly, they would suffer a loss of form and sunk to the bottom of League 2. This prompted them to sack manager David Horseman. His replacement would be none other than former Watford striker Troy Deeney. However, after an outburst against his own players, he would lose his job after just six games in charge. There is going to be a difficult task at the club. There will be no money. You will have an underperforming squad and in real life the team are bottom of the entire Football League system. Can you turn it around and save Forest Green? So those are 10 save ideas that I think you should be considering once the winter update comes out for Football Manager 2024. There are the big challenges such as the Sampdoria's, Forest Greens and the Reddings. And then you also have the big teams such as Ajax, Chelsea and Napoli. A little bit of something there for everybody to get their teeth right into.